Hello everyone, my name is Adam Maripos Vox and welcome back to another Windows 10 Tips video tutorial. In this video, we're going to be going over my top 5 favorite apps and programs that still work from my Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 upgrade. So these are going to be my top 5 programs that still work, even though I had them installed on Windows 8.1, they still work great in Windows 10. And do note that these are in no particular order. First up we have Notepad++. Notepad++ is a great text editor and text managing software. It includes line numbers and it would include, it includes just syntax filling in and you can use syntax identification for various coding languages and it keeps multiple tabs of text files open at once that becomes really really convenient. And even if you close them, like if I close this right now, see all my tags I have open? This is for a video I'm about to upload. This is how much faith I have in it. I'll close it, open up Notepad++, it's all still there. All of these unsaved files. So that's really convenient. I had it installed on 8.1 when I upgraded to Windows 10. It still worked fine. Next up, we have the Google Apps Manager or App Shelf or whatever you call it. This is basically a little secondary start menu you can install that manages your Google Chrome apps and extensions and things like that. And it's really convenient, I just keep it next to my Chrome shortcut and I usually use it to access just really quick shortcuts to various things. And there's tons and tons and tons of various Chrome apps and extensions and there is a difference that you can use that was compatible with Chromebooks and Windows and it looks pretty nice. Now one that I prefer to use is called Google Keep and it's this really flexible and nice looking and you see I activated some of the Windows 10 features here, that's pretty neat. But it's a really flexible and nice looking, uh, basically like a cross between a to-do list and a scratch pad and things like that and it allows me to keep track of a lot of information in a really easy to navigate and use interface and I can reorder things and I have checklists I can check stuff off of, I can archive it so I'm never deleting anything, and I can even change the color stuff so I know what's a priority and what's not. It's really convenient. Next up we have Rocket Dock, which I normally keep on my secondary monitor, but I've moved over here really quick just to show you all. It is a dock application, but for Windows, and this is something that has been pretty common pretty much since Windows XP, as everybody wanted a dock once OS X became really popular for its dock. It has lots of customization options and you can add all your shortcuts to it and keep track of shortcuts without having to use your desktop. And then it has an auto hide feature. So if I bring up my program here, if I make this, I can keep my windows on top of it, but if I hover my mouse long enough, I can still access my shortcuts and access other programs, which makes it really nice to use. Next up we have Malware Bytes, Anti-Malware. This is, this is my preferred anti-malware and antivirus solution. I do have a premium subscription that I pay for, but it is they do have a free version which works very, very well. In terms of free antivirus, Malware Bytes is actually pretty much the only one I will recommend to someone in terms of really feeling like I'm keeping them safe without bogging down their computer. It has a variety of different scanning options and you can set up automatic detection and it can even start blocking websites that are, you know, malicious or whatever. And then it keeps a good in-depth history of what it is removing from your computer. It's free, there is a premium option which is more affordable than any other antivirus in terms of McAfee, Norton's, all that garbage. And it was installed on Windows 8.1 and works fine on Windows 10. Lastly is a program that's going to be kind of hard to show off here, but it's a program called LightShot. It's this little feather icon down here, and it is my preferred screenshot application. So I'm going to pull up Chrome here, make sure it works. So uh, it, maps to your, it maps to your print screen key for when you'd normally take a screenshot. So let me pull up Explorer. And then when I hit print screen, I can drag. It's kind of like Yazo, where, you, where it automatically drags and then it automatically uploads it except I still have the control to change my screenshot after I selected the screen region, move it around, and then I have a variety of different options. I can immediately upload to their website and copy a link to it. I can share it to specific social media. I can print it. I can copy it, which becomes extremely useful when I'm importing screenshots into Photoshop, such as for these thumbnails. I can sit here and just immediately copy it, then go to Photoshop and paste it without having to upload, download, etc. You can save it to a PNG file, or you can draw on it and do all sorts of awesome stuff. It is a extremely handy screenshot software to me, much, much better than Yazo. And frankly, 
I highly recommend it to just about anyone. Turns out, after all, you're probably not seeing a whole heck of a lot of that. I don't know how much of that was shown in video. If not, I'll get some, like, camera B-roll. But it was installed on Windows 8.1. When I upgraded to Windows 10, it worked perfectly, and that was one of those I was kind of unsure of. So I definitely do recommend it for your Windows 10 setup. That's it from me, guys. That was my top five apps that worked from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 that I think you should be using in general. Do hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below with what other Windows 10 videos you'd like to see. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome tech content. And I will see you in a future video. My name has been Adam Reposvox. See you next time.